welcome back to my channel welcome to today's vlog and if you're new here welcome my name is jasmine i am a lifestyle content creator i'm also the host of the just go with the podcast where we talk about all things lifestyle self-care self-improvement wellness and pretty much everything every woman in her 20s and 30s needs to know today is saturday may 18th and it is 7 4 a.m we are up bright and early today i actually woke up around like 5 30 ish 5 45 but i didn't get out of bed till like 6 45 ish i was on tiktok scrolling i'm not even gonna lie but it's saturday so anyways it's early in the morning we have a pilates class today at 9 30 so i do have a little bit of time before then and i just want to get some work done um before class i have to finalize my youtube video that i just finished yesterday um i just have to add like the thumbnail and the links and everything like that and it should be good to go so it won't take me too long but i wanted to give myself some time to do that and also start this vlog this weekend is kind of going to be like a reset weekend in my life usually on the weekends i like to kind of go out go to brunch go shopping have fun live my life but this weekend i kind of need to get my life together because first of all this apartment is a mess this last week i did not keep up with my apartment the way that i normally do like i did pick up here and there i did vacuum here and there but there's laundry that needs to be done i need to clean out my fridge i need to stock up my fridge i need to wash my bed sheets i need to vacuum deep clean the bathrooms sweep mop do all of that good stuff so that's what we're gonna do today and tomorrow and also the main reason i want to focus on getting my life together this weekend is because on monday I officially begin my new role at Inside Then Out. They are a wellness brand, a wellness company. They create journals and planners and wellness tools to help you connect with yourself. I've, I've talked about this already on my podcast and on a, in a few vlogs ago. I am their new community manager and I officially start on Monday. So I just want to make sure that I have everything prepared for the week because I don't know what my week is going to look like moving forward. It's going to be an adjustment, you know, going from just working primarily for myself, my own schedule, to now having to balance my job. It is a part-time position, which I'm very thankful for because I will still have more than enough time to work on my content, my own personal projects that I have going on in my career. Other than the fact that it was a wellness brand and it was very aligned to everything that i talk about and everything i do on my platforms i love that it's fully remote it's part-time hours and it's not like a set schedule it's not like i have to clock in at a specific time and as long as i get my work done within like the business hours and it's fine i don't need to be at my desk at a specific time unless there's a meeting of course and that's a little bit different so monday i have like my introduction meeting and i'm sure i'll get more information but although it's like very flexible hours and it's remote and everything like that it's still going to be an adjustment to my day-to-day -day schedule i'm so used to just doing things on a whim doing things when i want how i want and i'll still be able to do that for the most part but there is something on my plate that i need to balance in my life and kind of figure out my new routine my new schedule and what that's going to look like which i'm really excited for so i just want to make sure that i'm prepared for the week for that specifically so i'm not like stressed and worried and not feeling prepared so this weekend we are deep cleaning resetting the apartment we need to do a grocery run i need to meal prep some things i was telling you guys in my last vlog i'm looking for more quick meal idea specifically for lunch because i don't have time i don't have time in the afternoon to cook lunch and i don't want to go out and eat all the time for dinner i don't mind cooking i love cooking dinner in my mind cooking dinner transitions me away from like work mode to relax and unwind mode so i'm fine cooking dinner every night or like having leftovers so we need to meal prep grocery run target run we need to do a few errands this weekend today we're going to focus on resetting the apartment cleaning everything out doing laundry pretty much everything in the home aspect and then tomorrow which is sunday we'll probably do our our sunday routine where we go to the coffee shop plan our week and we'll probably run most of our errands tomorrow so yeah that's kind of what our week is looking like and i'm really excited i'm really excited for this new chapter I can't lie i am a little bit nervous just because it has been a while since i've had like 
I don't want to say a real job because I feel like that downplays the work that I do for myself. It's not that it's not real work, but sometimes because I enjoy it so much, it doesn't feel like a real job. You know what I mean? But I don't want to say like real job because the work that I do is a real job. It's just a different kind of job. So what I'm trying to say, it's been a while since I've worked for someone else and I know it's going to be different than what I've experienced in the last three years. So, and another thing that I'm excited for that makes me feel like this is such an aligned opportunity is the fact that in this role, I will be utilizing a lot of my life coaching skill sets and things that I learned when I was becoming a life coach. So for those of you who are new here or don't know, I am a certified life coach. I had my own coaching practice. I had my own clients, private clients, group coaching. I did all the things. I loved it while I was doing it. And then I just wasn't aligning with me anymore. Like I felt burnt out. I didn't feel as hauled to do life coaching specifically i loved the idea and the act of helping people and helping others better themselves but i just didn't love it in the form of life coaching and so now as a content creator i feel like i'm still helping people and still helping others better themselves but it's in a different way and i love that and it, with this role as a community manager just based on some of the things that we've talked about of what is expected of me and like what I'll be doing. I know I'm going to be using a lot of my life coaching skills in this role. And I'm excited for that because I do low key miss my life coaching days. And I'm not saying I'll never do it again, but right now just with like doing, working with private clients specifically and like having a coaching practice is not something that I see for myself. Hold on one second. Yeah. Yes, please. Sorry, my AC just turned on, so it's just really loud in here, okay? Everything's like really loud, but basically what I was saying is I'm excited to utilize some of my life coaching skills in this role because I have missed the coaching aspect, but I know that having a coaching practice is not something that I want to do right now in my life, but maybe in the future, who knows? the grocery store i wanted to do a little grocery haul before i put everything away mostly everything i got from trader joe's and a few other things i got from another grocery store but mostly all of this is trader joe's so i got some roses i wanted to keep my bouquet very simple we're gonna put it together right now and i'm gonna put it right there i also got some eucalyptus to hang in my shower if you know you know and then I picked up a few frozen quick easy meals to make for lunch. I told you guys, I think in this vlog and my last vlog that I want easier quick meals. I showed, I believe in my last vlog, this chicken teriyaki from Trader Joe's. We cooked it this week and we really liked it. So we picked up another one. We're also trying this new Kung Pao chicken from Trader Joe's as well. Um, I think this one's going to be really good too probably gonna have this with some rice and veggies and then we got some more um, dark chocolate power berries i also picked up 
some frozen strawberries to go in my smoothies in the morning. I also picked up some fresh salmon for my spicy salmon bowl that I'm going to make this week. And then this is also something that I've seen on TikTok and I wanted to try it. It's the Trader Joe's Beef Media. Curious to try this. I don't know how good it's going to be because your girl is half Mexican. So I know what good media tastes like. I don't have high expectations, but I'm just curious to try it to see what it tastes like. So I'll let you know. I also got some pasta, some fusilli pasta by Rayos. Socked up on some oat milk, uh, Greek yogurt, Blueberries for my Greek yogurt bowls, strawberries, grapes, um, some avocados, tomatoes, fresh mint. This smells so good. I love the smell of mint. Some mangoes, jalapenos, limes, bananas, and we also got some Persian cucumbers. We also have a few more things back there, just like onion, apples, not that interesting. But this is everything that we got at the grocery store today. I'm gonna put everything away right now and then I'm gonna make my little flower bouquet. So we're gonna do that together. So I just wanted to check in and chat. I've been dealing with a lot of imposter syndrome. I've been feeling so overwhelmed. I just feel so out of balance right now, to be completely honest. I feel out, I feel out of balance with my routines. I feel out of balance with work, with my new job. And I was not expecting to feel this way. My nervous system is completely, completely out of whack right now. I share this with you guys in my Coffee Chats with Jazz broadcast channel on Instagram, how I was taking a little break from social media, honestly, just probably like a few days until I gather myself and like get my life together. But I was saying in there how I have been dealing with so much anxiety this week. I've been waking up with anxiety. That doesn't happen to me. Like, yeah, th there might be times when I feel overwhelmed with life, when I feel like there's too much on my plate, but I feel like that's just normal day-to-day -day life things. But rarely do I ever feel like I have anxiety. Like I never really deal with that. And this week, every single morning, I've been waking up with so much anxiety. I can't get out of bed. I don't feel motivated to do my morning routine, to work out, to go on my walk. And obviously that affects the rest of my day and how I feel. And so the last few days, I've just been struggling a lot. For the most part, I'm a very grounded person. Like even when life throws me curveballs and you know, there's a lot going on in my life. Yeah, I might have a moment where I just need to like express my feelings. I feel like that's normal, but then I get it together. You know, like I get it together and I continue moving on and I do what I gotta do because at the end of the day, life is not gonna stop for anyone. And I feel like for the most part, I'm very strong willed in that sense. And I don't let outside things take me off course for too long. Like, so that's how I've been feeling these last few days. It's also why I haven't been picking up my camera and vlogging because I just haven't had the energy to do anything other than what I have to do this week. I woke up around 5.30 this morning just so that I could make sure I had time for myself this morning because I did have an 8 a.m. meeting right now. Right now it's 8.30, so I just finished the meeting, but I knew I had this meeting today and then I have two more meetings in the afternoon, so I wanted to ensure that I made time for myself in the morning because the last few days I have not been doing my morning routine. I've been having coffee on an empty stomach, which of course makes me feel anxious even more so. And that's another thing that I'm like struggling with right now is trying to find my new work from home routine. And I'm just trying to figure out what this new routine is going to look like in my life because I have a lot more responsibilities now. There are things that I need to prioritize and I just wanna make sure that I'm taking care of myself first and foremost now that I have a lot more on my plate and right now I feel like I have all the pieces but they're kind of scattered and I just need to figure out like where each piece fits and how I can make everything work so that's how my week is going you guys
but I got this. I know that I got this. I just need some time to get it together. I need to give myself grace. I need to be patient with myself. I know this is going to be a learning curve and it's going to take time to figure it all out. But once I do, I'm going to love everything about this season, the busyness of it all, the responsibility, everything. So... before the gym gets too crowded um earlier at the coffee shop i was working on my podcast outline and then right now i was doing some editing i was editing this vlog actually so we're taking a little break we're gonna work out um i'm probably going to do like a quick 20 minute full body workout and then we're going to do some cardio on the treadmill. I didn't do my morning walk today, so I still have to get my 10,000 steps in. I don't know if we'll get 10,000 steps in today, but we're gonna get as many steps as we can. So we are going to head out now. Hopefully the gym isn't too packed. Like I said, I feel like during this time, that's when it starts to get busy, but let's hope for the best. I'm just wearing or putting on my um, Lululemon she moved out of state, she didn't want left, she's seeking forgiveness. She used to dance, but she went alone and started for business. Her daddy's not around, her mama's not around. I want to climb on the top of the pole and then get sliding down. I make it rain in this bitch, I make it snow in this bitch. Me, I'm supporting this shit This is a story that came from my life And I'm supporting this shit I'ma just give it to you direct Instead of me throwing this shit You know you're supporting this shit You know I'm supporting this shit We used to be us when you would come over But now you got more of shit I got like four on the wrist And an adorable kid I got a Drake in the studio And I don't just mean that I'm in this bitch He's making most of this shit Good workout i really want to hurry up and shower but we're gonna make some dinner first we're gonna go with the barbecue teriyaki chicken from trader joe's i'm going to make that with some rice and then saute some veggies that i have in the fridge that are about to go bad so i'm gonna make this really quickly i had a good workout i really want to shower and just scrub my body but i'm just gonna meal prep this real quick and then we'll get in the shower but we had a good workout i'll link the workout that i follow today in the description it was a workout that i found on tiktok i did that and then i did like 45 minutes on the treadmill so let's make some dinner together it should take me less than like 20 minutes the rice is what's going to take the longest to cook and then the chicken cooks in cooks in like four minutes so it's already made you just have to like heat it up add sauce and all that so very quick, easy meal. 